Hey West Valley Youth! I have loved the participation on Zoom thus far. It's been great getting to connect with you guys and discuss these videos. And some of you have enhanced your experience by creating funny names or little usernames, and that's great and all, but as you know, when you do that, you do spend a little bit more time in the waiting room uh, as I take time to verify who you are. And once you're verified, you don't get a blue check mark, but you are allowed to come into our youth group meeting. Uh, in John chapter 10, Jesus describes himself as a different kind of gatekeeper, not blocking out all the trolls, but calling out to us and ushering us in. This is what he says in verses 7 through 11. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus is again addressing the Jewish leaders who were leading God's people the way that they knew how. The Jewish leaders thought they had it all figured out. They had studied the Bible. They even had it memorized. And they were waiting for a Messiah. And on their own understanding, Jesus just didn't add up. It didn't make sense that all people were now invited into the kingdom of God. They were expecting a warrior to come and wipe out their enemies, not be united with them and they pushed back. But a relationship with God is different. A relationship with God isn't just about following rules and making sacrifices. A relationship with God is about responding to God's love. The ultimate love demonstrated through God's own sacrifice, not ours. The Jewish leaders, those that were there before Jesus, rejected Jesus's teaching and continued to teach on their own understanding. The point of all the rules that they were teaching on isn't just rules themselves, but it was supposed to be a way to have a relationship with God. And Easter is celebrated and talked about so much because it is through Jesus' death and resurrection that we have a relationship with God. When we turn from doing things our own way and start following the way that Jesus showed us, we grow in our relationship with God. And that's it. We don't earn our salvation. We live into it. When we turn from our own ways and start following Jesus, our shepherd, the one who laid down for our lives, we live as holy people. And I want to close with John chapter 10, verses 27 through 28, as a meditation for this week. This is what Jesus says. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for sending your son, Lord, that we are able to have a relationship through his sacrifice. Thank you so much for the way that you love us, Lord. May we focus on that love during our week, Lord. Please continue to keep us safe and healthy. Amen. Thanks for watching. See you on Zoom on Tuesday.